checking out the emails here. Another question is from uh, from Rob um, or Robert. Uh, handling large numbers of fasteners. Hey Lars, how do you handle uh, a project that calls for a large number of fasteners? My current project has over 150 socket heads cap screws. Ugh. And right now I'll just create a component that contains all the fasteners. That's actually not a bad idea, kind of like creating an assembly and then go ahead and, uh, and just put them all in there if you want to. Uh, because we don't have like a folder uh, in there I, and I don't I don't know if there's a bet there's probably better ways there is better ways if your assembly becomes huge it could be there's definitely some other ways to do it but if we go back to um, to Derek's project here for just a second and if we if we eliminated that um, that when I did that last extrude of the big round one when I do that we actually ending up with a lot of bodies and that could be the kind of the same thing in here that you could go up you could say create component new component and then you could just take uh how many bodies you want and you could move them into to that component and now they're sitting in there that would be one way if you kind of like want to want to organize it so now all those components are in there it's actually not a i actually don't think it's a bad way to do it but um another way to do this is if you're just looking, so we got to talk about what are you trying to achieve? What is the end result? If it's trying to clean up um, and make things organized, then that could be one way to do it. And that would be a legit way to do it. Um, if you just kind of like want to organize things almost like a folder, you know, the component, you could rename it uh, hardware and then, then it'll be all be in there. If it is to try to find things, what is maybe time many times why we want to order things because we're trying to go back to it. There's actually another way. There's something in here that is called uh, selection sets. If I right click here on a, on a body or whatever part, you can create a selection set. When you cl click on that, it will create a folder up here called uh, selection set. And what right now is in that selection set is one component, the one I right clicked on. And now you can select it uh, or you can update it. So if I hit, so right now I don't have anything selected. If I click up here, it will select that one body. Um, if I hit update, I can add more to it. So now I could actually go in here, hold down control, and I could select multiple items. Oops. Multiple items, including the canvas folder, apparently. So now I select all different kinds of random components. And now that... Uh, will be should be updated into it so now you see there's 14 items in here and you can rename this chain sets and now at any time in later on in the process I could come in here and just say select and I will select those there so that's what i would normally do uh, i did a i did a video on how to uh create a plastic injection mold from start till finish so that was what i did there i brought all the hardware in and i didn't many times when you get into bigger projects like this was a plastic injection mold there was hundreds of components in there sometimes you don't bring in all the fasteners in one swoop so they kind of like get placed everywhere, but I would just have a selection set that I would update every time I added a fastener, just update the selection set and any time I could select all the fasteners. Robert, I hope that that was useful. I hope that was a good answer to you. Uh, again, me just cleaning out my emails here.